What's up, all you book nerds? Eric Whirlin here, and I am sitting with Gordy Hab. How are you doing today? Great. Thanks for having me. Thanks for being here. So, tell us a little bit about what you do. Sure. So, I'm a composer. I write music for films and video games, and, you know, for the past 10 years, it's been probably 80% video games. Nice. Nice. What kind of video games? Uh, I do a lot of the Star Wars games. So, so little games, not, not anything anyone's really heard of before. You know, Star Wars, what's that? Yeah, like indie games, that kind of thing. Gotcha. Um, <laughs> you know, and, and also most recently I worked on the Halo franchise with a scored uh, game called Halo Wars 2. Nice. It's a very cool. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I sort of got into games. Um, I mean, I can tell you a little story about how yeah. I kind of broke into that. So I, I'd love to hear it. Yeah. So I, I had scored this this short Star Wars fan film called Ryan vs. Dorkman 2, and it was... Uh, I've heard of it. I've seen it. Yep. I enjoyed it. I'm sure, every, I'm, sure that, I'm sure they've seen it and enjoyed it as well. A lot, of people, a lot of people saw it, including some folks at Lucasfilm, and they really liked the music I'd written for it, so they hired me to write music for uh, Indiana Jones and the Staff of Kings. It was a video game that came out about 10 years ago, I guess. And um, so all because of that little short film... You know, that was just two nerds fighting with lightsabers. You know, I got this this really cool gig, and it led to another thing, and then, you know, one thing led to the next, and I had scored Star Wars The Old Republic was the first Star Wars video. Oh, I love that one. Yeah. So, and that just led to a lot of other Star Wars-related video game work. <laughs> so. For all you Star Wars fans, this is the guy you can thank for the amazing music and scores in all of those games. It's all him. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. So... Yeah, so, uh, and, and most recently with the Battlefront series is, is the, the Star Wars game series that I think is most current and uh, that I've worked on. So. Nice. So what would you say is, uh, I know it's probably hard to pick, but what do you think uh, your most fun project has been to work on? That's a great question. Um, you know, i got to say, I have to say Star Wars Battlefront 2. And, and, and the reason is, so Battlefront 1 was also a blast. And oh, don't yeah. get me wrong. I mean, I had a, an amazing time writing that music, and it was, it was overwhelming and daunting, but also a lot of fun. But with Battlefront 2, a lot of that overwhelming and daunting aspect kind of went away because I'd already been through it. I'd already dealt with, you know, the, the billion Star Wars fans, you know, <laughs> chiming in and letting me know what they thought of it. And so I could let go of that a bit and just kind of do my own thing. And uh, because the game had a single-player campaign with brand new characters that were now part of the, the canon for Star Wars, I got to write brand new themes for these characters, so I really got to stretch out musically a bit more. Nice. So that was a lot of fun. Nice. Well, as we all know, you know, Star Wars fans never have anything to say about the franchise. So, <laughs> so you said you worked on Battlefront 1 and Battlefront 2, and you already talked about that you know, just now a little bit. But what were the different challenges in between going from Battlefront 1, because you had never done that before, and then Battlefront 2, because you have to make it obviously still be a Star Wars and match Battlefront 1, but still be its own entity? Exactly. How, how, is, how did you go about that? What was the challenge? Yeah, I mean, the cha it was a big challenge for one because we had to actually make sure the music fit with the original music from the films because it was actually set during the original trilogy period of time and they were using music from the films as well. So I'd have to write music that could literally transition out of my music into John Williams' music and then out of his and back into mine. So I was bridging a lot of gaps. And uh, so that was sort of the challenge there. With Battlefront 2, the challenge was sort of abandoning a lot of that concept and then really doing something original and creative and new, So, uh, which was a lot of fun, but also, you know, it's, it's like you know, when you give somebody a clean slate, sometimes <laughs> the most daunting thing in the world is a blank page, and, yeah. and in a lot of ways it was. So You didn't have as much, like, you know, you didn't have anything to go off of, so it was starting from scratch and trying to make something sound like it fits the others, but it's still brand new. Exactly, yeah. <sighs> that must have been... Over, like you said, overwhelming, but it came out great because I've, I've played both those games and I love the awesome. score of both of those awesome. games, so it's fantastic. So well That's done great. there. Uh, do you have any projects you're working on right now that you can tell us about? Uh, uh, no. No? I have tons of projects I'm working on and I can't tell you about any of them because that is just the nature of the video game industry, unfortunately, is that everything's very secretive. But I can tell you, you know, a couple of them will be really obvious when you find out okay. and, um, and it's really cool. And I actually have a couple great film projects coming up too nice. that are based out of a Chinese film company, okay. so which are really exciting projects too. Nice. So. Blink twice if it's another Star Wars game. Uh, yeah, yeah. 
he blinked. He blinked once, not twice, guys. So I don't know what that means. Both eyes. Yeah. He. He. I don't know. We can leave that up to the viewers to decide on that. All right. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure talking with you. Thanks so much. I'm Gordy Hab, composer, and that's turning another page with Gene Buchner. Ooh.